Thank you for volunteering to take the witness stand on behalf of atheism. It's so nice to see this for a change. My pleasure. But what do you mean by, for a change? What I mean is that atheists never seem to be willing to be forced to defend their beliefs. Instead, they demand to always be the prosecutor. That's because Christians are always saying they're right and everyone else is wrong. But that's no excuse for never having to defend your own beliefs. You're trying to avoid having to endure the same treatment you give Christians. Remember who is on the witness stand right now. All right, fine. I am not afraid of any question you might ask. So, you think you're right and everyone else is wrong then? Well, um, that's not what I meant. You have to say what you mean, because I can't read your mind. I can only respond to what you actually say. So tell me, what did you really mean? I mean, belief in God is just ridiculous. I am rational, and faith in an invisible man in the sky is for people who are afraid. You're also hopelessly self-contradictory. First of all, you are not the judge of whose beliefs are ridiculous. I personally find the notion that everything was created by nothing more ridiculous than that it was designed by a designer. Second, you are not the judge of what is deemed rational. I find it irrational to think things can create themselves, or that things which run down are eternal. Third, you mock different views by doing what is called burning a straw man and reducing to absurdity or extreme oversimplification. The concept of God cannot be reduced to the level of an imaginary friend. And fourth, presuming the reason for this faith as fear is an ad hominem attack. You committed numerous fallacies in just one sentence, which itself was a red herring, an attempt to deflect from the fact that you do the very thing you say only Christians do thinking you're right and everyone else is wrong. You're just anti-science and try to ram your beliefs down my throat. More ad hominem won't help your case. And remember, it is you who are on the witness stand right now. Stop trying to pretend you're the prosecutor. You agreed you wouldn't do this. Whatever. So tell me, atheist, why you spend day after day on three different Christian message boards? I am only trying to show them the light and cure them of their stupidity because I care about them. Don't you see that this is exactly what Christians say, but you whine that they're trying to ram their beliefs down your throat? And you go after them in their own boards, so who is really the aggressor here? They are always trying to use the courts to push their beliefs on others. Stop trying to shift the focus from yourself. You are on the witness stand. Not only are atheists also using the courts to force their views as well, the fact is that you are invading Christian message boards and trying to proselytize. I am not. Only Christians proselytize. Yes, you are. The word proselytize doesn't change meaning depending on who does it. That is the fallacy called special pleading. Now another question for you. It is considered a mental illness to be obsessed with something you know is not real. Yet that's exactly what you are doing. By spending every day in Christian boards and talking about God, you show obsession with that which you believe is imaginary. What can you say in your defense? I am not obsessed. I'm just dedicated. There you go with the special pleading again. Can't you say anything without faulty logic? As an atheist, I am the logical one. As an atheist, you are contradicting yourself, and once again, the word logical does not change meaning depending on who uses it. But atheism is a neutral belief, so it must be logical and unbiased. Atheism is definitely not neutral. Neutral would mean you don't know whether or not there is a God, and you certainly wouldn't care whether other people believe there is. The fact that you proselytize proves that it is not neutral at all. Atheism means not believing in a God. It's non-belief. You ignore the fact that it means much more than disbelief but the act of belief that God does not exist. You aren't saying merely that you don't believe in God, but that no God exists. In other words, atheism as you define it would actually make the charge of mental illness even stronger, since you fight to defend disbelief. Who else defines themselves by what they don't believe? I have a right to disbelieve as much as Christians do to believe. So why do you get so emotional and illogical, and aggressively harass Christians in their own message boards? Don't they have the same rights as you? But their rights are dangerous and will make children disregard science. Your poor logic so far is not instilling me with confidence and believing atheism is harmless or scientific. 
poor logic is the scientist's worst enemy. If you can't think straight, you can't reach rational conclusions from observations. In fact, atheism has been an excuse for many negative and harmful things since there is no higher authority. And remember, trying to point to the faults of Christians would be another case of deflection, since it is atheism on the weakness stand. But, you Christians, I'm not. Exactly. You're not used to having to defend yourself. You're also not used to living up to your own standards. What do you mean, I'm not living up to my own standards? You pelt Christians with an endless barrage of questions, some of which are absurdities like, can God make a rock so big he can't lift it? And if the Christians can't answer every single question, you say their belief is disproved. Yet you yourself cannot answer every question put to you, but you don't think this invalidates your belief that no God exists. You even say that time will prove you right, yet if Christians say this, you laugh and call them irrational. It's a blatant double standard. I don't have time for this nonsense. I'm leaving. So then, I win, right? That's what you always say when Christians walk away from you. No, they walk away because they can't refute me. Then that's why you're walking away right now.